Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. We got a big week coming up here at the channel, including unlocking 100% completion in our Good Honor playthrough. We've done everything live, so you'll not want to miss it. And I'm going to show you in this episode why I believe we can find the third meteorite and hopefully locate the third UFO once we get 100%. So I hope you guys are all doing good. Make sure to subscribe. If you are new, hit the notification button. If you're playing through the game yourself, I know you have found this. A massive crater. How do you miss it? This is where you can find the first meteorite, and the second one is nearby at the meteor house. So if you bring up your satchel, you'll notice that the game tells you that there are three. And it's very interesting because everything else lets you know how many there are of the certain item. In other words, the meteorite, you can see it says carrying two of three. You go to the shrunken head, there's only one. So it doesn't tell you can find any more. You can go up to the platinum engraved buckle. And we have the Legend of the East Satchel. All of the items go to 99. Unless the game specifies that there's a certain number. And we're basically told that we're only carrying two of the possible three meteorites. So I'm going to show you guys that there is a significant clue telling us where that third meteorite is. Hit me up on Twitter anytime. I'll have a link in the description. Also, we just viewed the meteor shower, and I think that you probably have to see the meteor shower before finding the third meteorite. So I'll have a link in the description if you missed that. We did it live on 420. It was pretty epic. With that said, guys, let's check out the clues that we can find a third meteorite and a UFO, but only after we get everything in the game first. The game that came out prior to Red Dead Redemption 2 is GTA 5, of course, and they have a lot of similarities when it comes to the secrets and the mysteries. And one of the biggest secrets in Grand Theft Auto V is the hidden UFOs. They would only appear once you get 100% completion. It seems like there's an evolution to the Rockstar games. Every time they release a new title, they put more and more secrets to find hidden in the game. But there you have it. The UFO has a lot of similarities between the UFOs that you can see in Red Dead. Yet only players who got 100% completion, which is not easy, could see this UFO as well as the ones over Zancudo and Mount Chiliad. We all know that Mount Shan is a lot like Mount Chiliad. So speaking of that, I'll meet you guys on the top of the mountain. Here we are at the peak of Mount Shan. You have to say this is one of the best views in the game. Look at that. You can see for miles and miles. Now I do have to point out that you do not need 100% to see the UFO that appears here at night, but there is this rock structure which remains unsolved. You can see how it points out different directions. You have arrows on there. I think the arrows are also color-coded. Some people say that this is a sundial. It kind of looks like one, I'm not too sure. But this goes unsolved, and considering we have the UFO that appears here only once, I guess it's the crescent moon at night at 2 a.m., but this seems to point out that there's something more. We have found two UFOs so far. Perhaps there's a third UFO just like in Grand Theft Auto V, and this one probably appears when we get 100% completion. Now, when it comes to the meteorite, we do have some pretty good evidence that the meteorite has crashed down to Earth. Freak 8, hit me up in the DM with this picture. This is one of the load screens from Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see, it has a meteorite, and it is not flying towards the meteor house. This looks to be the third meteorite, and it's somewhere around the San Luis River, which is in New Austin. That would make sense, the area that's only unlocked once you become John Marston, and that is where I think we can find the meteorite. Again, though, I do think you have to have 100%. But this is pretty crazy. I know a lot of people have hit me up with this picture. Huge shout out to everybody who reached out. But this is definitive evidence that Rockstar is messing with us. Huge shout out to a member of the Trippy fam, Dr. Wobafet. He had reached out to me telling us to go to this location right next to Rio Del Lobo Rock. Now, I did load up a profile where we really have not seen this before. And I got to say, if you look at it, the comet would fly right through here past the San Luis River and land pretty much next to the Rio Del Lobo Rock. And I guess there's a legendary, what is that, the pronghorn that you can find right here as well. So here we are. Everything is definitely singed. It looks pretty fresh. And there's some dead cows and some other dead people as well. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see any clues, especially because we do not have 100% in this profile. But I'm not really seeing too much here, guys. What do you think? Do you think a meteorite would be more powerful than this? Perhaps they wouldn't have anything left on them but these guys definitely were burnt by something. Now, I have seen some pictures of this location where it was still on fire, but for some reason, it looks like the fire is well gone at the point of this profile. Man, it definitely has some meteor vibes to it. I could see this being it. So the meteorite is either gone, perhaps we have to find it on an NPC, 
or it will spawn here or somewhere close when we get 100% completion. When it comes to Meteorite, we know that the satchel is definitely telling us that there is three. That cannot be a glitch. There's no point to sell it for cash. I think we need to find the third Meteorite. And the biggest reason of all is because if you look at the official Red Dead Redemption 2 guide, it says that the Meteorites grant you special abilities. Now, I believe it's heat resistance. But if we really do get special abilities from these Meteorites, then we need to get all three. But let me know what you guys think about the hidden meteorite situation. I know it's one of the biggest mysteries in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now that said, I have another clue I want to show off. Huge shout out to one of the amazing mods here at the channel, September. She pointed out something that you can find when you load up Red Dead Redemption 2. It seems to be a clue, possibly, of a DLC here right around the corner. When you first turn on RDR2, take a closer look at the shotgun shells. Of course, here's the main screen. Just black, it says Red Dead Redemption 2. You got the account picker, and of course we'll select Trippy Comms. Look at the shotgun shells right there. Did you notice that both shells say 2020? Let's go back and freeze it right when it comes out. Here it is, it says Rockstar Games. It has the year that Rockstar was established, as well as 2020. What is significant with the year 2020? Now it could be a 20 gauge, but that's really just kind of a beginner shotgun. So why would they have a 20 gauge shotgun? I think it could be pointing towards the year 2020 and hopefully a massive DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now considering Rockstar really needs to upgrade Red Dead Online, hopefully they take the rest of the year to upgrade the beta and then 2020 give us a DLC. Could it be the Undead Nightmare? Maybe something to do with the UFOs? Let me know in the comments section below if you want a DLC for Red Dead 2. I wanted to put up this video right before we get to 100% this week, so I hope you guys can join up for that. We will return to this location once we get 100% to see if we can find the meteorite. Man, is there any clues that we can get with these people? Is there anything on you, bro? Do you got any notes or something? Let me know if you guys have any intel. Make sure to stay tuned. We'll have a live stream coming up later on as we get closer to completing this game once and for all. Make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?